Yeah, there was a, a lot of learning for professionals emerging from this case. Um, John had been experiencing unsteadiness and falls for quite some time in his supported accommodation, um, but there was little evidence of uh, falls risk assessments, uh, referrals to occupational uh, therapy, um, so that his uh, risk of falls might be better managed. Um, so the importance of uh, assessing a person's risk of falls is really important and then putting some kind of uh, plan in place to try and um, prevent the risk of uh, falls which could cause injury or death. Um, there was the issue of the medication error which uh, was an important piece of learning for the GP practice and GP practices generally. And it was also a, a point of learning for John's care providers who hadn't spotted that they were uh, providing such an increased dosage of the medication which then uh, caused him to be very sleepy and more prone to falls. Um, in terms of the discharges from hospital, um, one of the key learnings was there needed to be proper contact with the care provider. On one occasion the care provider only knew that John had been discharged uh, when he was uh, in a taxi, been put in a taxi from the hospital on the way back to the uh, care provided premises. So there was a, a need for proper hospital discharge planning involving the care provider and also the commissioner of that care provider, the learning, uh, the learning disability team uh, locally. And whilst in hospital, really important for John to have had an up-to-date hospital passport to ensure that the hospital staff, the many staff who'd be unfamiliar with John's needs, would have a, a flying start at trying to understand uh, John's needs. Um, and uh, the hospital staff um, obviously identified that uh, he had a learning disability and affected his communication, but then didn't necessarily make the link to questioning, to assessing whether John had got mental capacity they were slow at times to assess his capacity and consider whether he needed uh, independent, independent mental capacity advocacy support and also whether um, the deprivation of liberty safeguards would apply or not. So those were some of the key learning points. Uh, as I say, uh, Men with a learning disability, 23 years less life expectancy. For women with a learning disability, it's even worse. Average 29 years less learning, uh, less life expectancy. So I think a really powerful incentive for us all to uh, focus on ensuring that we make reasonable adjustments uh, for people with a learning disability. There were occasions when John was in hospital where Specialists who were coming to speak to John uh, before he was discharged were unable to communicate with him, left him with a leaflet as an alternative to uh, the information they were going to impart verbally uh, without really giving sufficient thought to whether he would understand what they were trying to tell him or indeed the leaflet that they left, uh, they left him. So it's incumbent upon us all and it's the law that we should make reasonable adjustments to uh, ensure that we're in a better position to meet the needs of people like John with a learning disability.